Have you ever lost something that just was devastating to you, but turned out to be that transformational moment that actually was a blessing in disguise? Well, today I'm going to tell you a story of mine where I lost everything. Let me take you back to the year 2001. I was uh, just, I had just finished my degree in the computer science and got a job. And it was, uh, it was, it was really a good job. Uh, I was, I went from having nothing uh, to having like a good lifestyle and was able to buy a house. And I had recently got married. So I lived with my husband out in the country and we were setting everything up and, and getting ready to live our life there. And we were invited, we were invited to a birthday party in the family. So I didn't have a driver's license at that time. So we drove with my mother and her boyfriend and on the way on the freeway there we got into a car accident so i was sitting in the back seat i did not have my seat belt on and we were sitting three adults in the back seat so when we had that car crash my body turned away with my hips locked uh, in 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 uh, in the seat and my my upper body just turned uh, like a twist and down in the bottom of the car. So I had like a, a twist in the spine. And it didn't seem like anything happened at the time. But, you know, I was shaken up and I was um, um, like in shock. Some in my body was in kind of a shock state, but they couldn't see anything on the x-ray. So I got home and about a week later, um, I accidentally uh, fell down some stairs and I hurt my my hips. And like you know, I had a bruise like this big on my thigh. <laughs> um, so I had these two accidents all at once. And then um, about a month went by and suddenly I was sitting at work and something just, I didn't, I didn't know how to, I, do anything. I was about to call somebody to, uh, um, to I, I can't even remember what it was. I was about to make a call, I remember, and I was just sitting, uh, staring at the phone and I couldn't do it. I could not pick up the phone. So I went out uh, to some of the other people on the, in the office and said, I have to go home. And I never came back because I couldn't. After that, I, I you know, it was uh, so, uh, it was, uh, so overwhelming. I lost my ability to read for more than 10 minutes at a time. I was sleeping like 14, 16 hours a day and my mood was just really up and down and actually I lost my job and shortly after that I lost my husband because my I didn't know what was happening and my mood swings, which I thought he was a jerk and he thought I was a jerk. We didn't know what was happening and I had so much pain I started getting headaches and back issues and I was getting treated for that. Um, and then I had to sell the house. Uh, so I lost everything in about uh, six months. Um, then I, I, um, I was just like, oh my God, why am I even here, right? I was just sleeping all the time, couldn't do anything, couldn't concentrate. So why am I even here and I was, I was at that point where I just wished somebody would just come take me away from here. I didn't want to be alive anymore. Um, but then I decided that maybe there's something called karma. Maybe if I just give up now, that I would just have to be reborn and do everything once again in some other form. So I decided I wanted to figure this out. I wanted, I wanted to get better. I was at a point where um, I was in a program to test how much I could do and the verdict at this point was I could maybe work 10 hours a week but having breaks in that time also so maybe five hours <laughs> work one hour a day right so I was in a really bad state so what I did was I turned to um, to the library 
and started to work on my reading. So I got up to a point where I could read uh, for longer periods of time and I read everything that was about psychology, um, spirituality, personal development. For years I just studied that and I got into um, an, an healer education. I got a certification as a healer and I worked on myself, healing myself. And slowly I got back into life. I got back with my husband actually and we got, um, I got pregnant so I got two kids. Um, but I still wasn't uh, at that point where I could just go back to work. And then I found out that I actually, uh, besides the, uh, the whiplash kind of effect in my spine, I also had a post-traumatic stress disorder from that accident. So then I found a, a certified PTSD, um, uh, not healer, but um, certified in working with uh, war victims and stuff like that. And she gave me a couple of treatments where I visualized uh, the accident and changed how my brain perceived it. And suddenly my brain could relax and let go of the experience. And, and then I could feel a physical a movement of energy in my body and then I started to really heal. But this has taken like eight years. That process, process took eight years. But it got me to a point where I knew myself better than ever before. I was a um, certified healer, certified coach. I had every tool to decide I wanted to live and what to do with my life. And that's when I decided I wanted to uh, go into my uh, make my own business. I wanted to be a healer and a coach and that led me to the path of online marketing and uh, Had me start my my first company as a healer and as a coach that developed uh, into um, Doing what I love I, I came came from an IT background. So I started doing uh, websites instead um, I felt comfortable doing all the technical stuff, but I also wanted to, to coach people, so now I'm at a point where I do uh, both coaching, healing and help people with tech stuff um, as, a, as a coach and a healer and doing the online marketing, uh, helping people setting up sales funnels and stuff like that, branding themselves online. I mean, my, my big passion now is uh, personal branding online because from there you can really sell anything you want with your personal brand. So the blessing in disguise from this story is it seemed like I had nothing to live for after that accident. But now I see that every door is opening and I can just turn my attention to something and, and, and uh, magic happens actually. So even if you are in a really dark place right now, you never know what doors will actually open for you on the other side. You just have to look for them and you will get there. Maybe you need some help. I needed a lot of help on the way, but then you just have to reach out for that help and get it because you will actually get there. So I hope you inspire, you're inspired by my story. Even if you're in a dark place or know somebody who is, just tell them there is a way, tell yourself there's a way, reach out for help and you will turn that into a blessing in disguise, I'm sure. I hope you enjoyed the story and I'll talk to you soon in another video. Bye for now. Thank you for listening or watching this content. I hope it has brought you some value. I hope it's been inspiring or motivating or given you some kind of new idea to maybe get out of a rut or maybe really go and crush it. Listen, I'm just an ex-computer programmer who uh, got into a car crash back in 2001 and it took me several years to get out of that. And during that time, I studied everything there was to study about spirituality and personal growth. And finally, I found my way to uh, finding my passion, and that is online marketing and online business building. 
to that's the platform that I really love to help inspire people to create the life and the freedom that they want in their life and build a legacy and impact the world for the better. Now, if you want to follow me on this journey, you can find me on social media or go to my blog, askmarilina.com. That's askmarilina.com. And I hope to see you in another episode. Bye for now.